With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, students. Let's discuss the question. Find the coordinate of the point where the line joining the points one comma minus two comma three and two comma minus one comma five. Cut the plane x plus two y plus three z equal to nineteen and find the distance of this point from the point five comma four comma one. So let's begin with solution of this question. So here first we will find the line that is joining this point. So our first point that is let's name this will be A. So this is given as one comma minus two and comma three. And second point that is it will name B. So it will be two comma minus one comma five. So from these two points, if we have to find a straight line in three dimensional space, so it will be given by this. That is x minus x one upon this will be x one. Or x2 minus x1, we can say, and here this will be y minus y1 upon this will be y2 minus y1, and similarly this will be z minus z1 upon this will be this z2 minus z1. So this is the straight line equation. If x1, x2 are the points from where the line is passing, so here we can substitute this as a first point that is x1, y1, z1, and this is as x2, y2, and z2. So we get the straight line equation like this. That is here this will be x minus 1. That is x minus x one divided by x two minus x one, so two minus one. So that will be one. Similarly, here that is y minus here this will be this minus two, so it will become plus sign. So here this will be y plus two, and here this will be y two minus y one. So minus one, and here this will be minus two. So minus one minus minus two, so that will become plus two. So this plus two minus one, so that will become one. And here also that is five minus three, so this will be z minus here this will be z z one. So this will be three upon this five minus three that is equal to two. So basically this is the straight line, and if we will just assume this equal to lambda, so we can find the general point of any point on this straight line. So if we will find the value of this x by using this relation and this relation lambda, so we get the value of x that will be equal to this one into this lambda and this plus one. So this will be lambda plus one. Similarly, if we will find the y, so value of y will be this one into lambda, so that will be lambda, and this will be minus two. So this is minus two. Similarly, if we will find the value of z, so this will be two lambda and this will be three. So two lambda and this will be plus three. So these are the general point that are point lying on this straight line. So since we have to find the point of intersection of the line and plane, so our plane equation, which is given in the question, that is x minus two y plus three z, and it is equal to nineteen. So if we will just substitute this point, so we get the point of intersection of this curve and this curve. So x is lambda plus one, so here this will be lambda plus one, and here this will be minus two into value of y is this lambda minus two, so this is lambda minus two here, and this will be plus three z, so three into this two lambda plus three, and that is equal to nineteen. So from here, if we we'll just solve this equation, so we get this as lambda. Here this will be minus two lambda, so minus two lambda we can write and just write constant term, and here this will be three into two, so that will be six lambda. And the constant term, so this is one, so plus one. Here this will be minus into minus, so plus. So this will be plus four, and the, here this will be three into three, that is nine. So this will be nine. This is plus four, and that is equal to nineteen. So if we we'll take this, uh, this is five, and here this is nineteen. So five plus nine, that is fourteen, and here this will be nineteen. And this term, that is uh, lambda six lambda plus lambda, that is seven lambda. And seven lambda minus two lambda, so that will be five lambda. And from here we will simplify this. So five lambda we get this as equal to five. So from here we get the value of lambda that is equal to one. So we can find the point that is uh, we have already discussed here. So coordinate of this point we can find. So from here we will write the coordinate that is x y z. So x coordinate will be lambda plus one. That is uh, x will be equal to this one plus one only. So that will be. One plus one that is two. Similarly, the y coordinate will be equal to this lambda minus two and value of lambda that is equal to one. So that will be one minus two that is equal to this minus one. Similarly, here the z coordinate so z will be equal to two into this lambda that is one. So two plus three that will be five. So these are the coordinate of our point of intersection of plane and line. And if we we'll name this point as a C point, so another point is given in the question that is if we we'll name D point. So this is five four one. And we have to find distance CD. So this is five four, and here this is one. So by using distance formula, distance distance will be equal to this. That is root of x two minus x one whole square plus root of y two minus y one whole square. 
plus root of z2 minus z1 whole square. So this will be 5 minus 2. So 5 minus 2 whole square here. Here this will be 4 minus minus 1. So that will be this uh, 4 minus. We can directly write 4 minus minus 1. And here is whole square. And here also this last uh, so 1 minus 5. So that will be 1 minus 5. Here this will be whole square. So this will be the distance. So if we we'll just recall this. So we get this as a, this will be 5 minus 2. That is 3 square. So that will be. 9 similarly this will be 4 and this will be minus of minus 1 so that will become 5 so that will be 5 square that is uh, this 25 and here also this is 1 minus 5 that is minus 4 square so that will be 16 so from here we get this distance as this uh, 25 this 25 and this will come up to be 25 so this is root 50 from here so we can say that this is equal to 5 root 2 so this distance is 5 root 2 so answer to this question is coordinate of that point will be 2 comma minus 1 comma 5 and distance between this point that we have find and the given point is 5 root 2 units. So, thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.